Indeed, he is. I want to get to more on this. Uh, the top story: the military major military engagement underway right now between the former Soviet Republic of Georgia and Russia. The conflict is raising alarms around the world. Georgia is fighting to reclaim the breakaway province of South Ossetia, but 90 percent of Ossetia's people are Russian citizens. Russian says it's coming to their defense. Now, both sides are accusing the other of being the aggressor here. The fighting broke out as much of the world's attention was focused on the start of the Olympics. President Bush bringing up the matter with the Prime Minister. Putin during a meeting in Beijing. White House Secretary, Press Secretary Dana Perino saying, quote, the United States supports Georgia's territorial integrity and we call for an immediate ceasefire. So, so why is the White House so concerned with Georgia? Well, here's today's full disclosure. Georgia was ruled by Russia for two centuries before the breakup of the Soviet Union. Then Georgia really got Russia mad by seeking membership in NATO. When South Ossetia decided to break away from Georgia, Russia was there to support the province, since most of the people who live there are Russian citizens. So why is the U.S. concerned? Well, for one, Georgia has been one of the former Soviet bloc countries to reform and install a democratic government. Washington has provided Georgia with considerable aid to support its political as well as economic reforms. Plus, Georgia cooperates with NATO. They wanted to become a NATO member and has provided up to 4,000 troops to coalition efforts in Iraq. With us now is General Thomas McInerney. He knows the area very well. General, are you concerned about this escalating one and the U.S. possibly having to get involved at some point in time? I'm very concerned in both counts, accounts, Trace. Uh, first of all, because uh, Georgia has exhibited a great friendship with the West and the United States and democracy. And they have moved along, as you pointed out earlier, better than any of the previous uh, republics, the 15 republics that broke away from the USSR. So Russia has got a deep ingrained dislike of Georgia for what they have done, and they do not want it to ripple to other countries. The Ukraine, for instance, where they've talked about uh, being a member of NATO. So I believe that Russia is going to crack down with very ruthlessly on Georgia as much as much as they can in South Ossetia. I'm very worried about that. It is a difficult place for us to get in because we don't want to get face on face and force on force with uh, Russia. Uh, that's not good for us. But, but what's the tipping we'll point, General? I mean, if that, if that, when you say we do not want to, we do not want to get into that conflict. But what's the tipping point? And at what point do you foresee the United States saying, "Look, we have got to get more involved in this"? Well, that's going to come quick. If Russia doesn't pull back, if they don't quit uh, this aggressive uh, attack into uh, South Ossetia, I think we're going to have a problem. And uh, so what kind of force would we commit in there? Uh, you know, I do not see this administration putting U.S. forces in there. I believe they're going to go their utmost on trying to negotiate it. Uh, President Bush and Putin are meeting now, but again, what does Putin really mean? Putin's goal and Medvedev, the new president's goal, is to recreate the old USSR and bring all 15 republics back. That's a long-term goal. Yeah. And so that's why I think they're going to be far more ruthless than we have expected. And General, I certainly don't want to be alarmist about this at all, but you know, as history is our guide, you look at these regional conflicts, and these regional type conflicts are the beginnings of World War I and World War II. This is a very serious matter we're looking at. Yes, it is, Trace, and of course that's one of the reasons why the Soviet, uh, the Russians have uh, supported Iran so much, both in diplomatic measures and in uh, helping to arm Iran, sending them Iran a new S-300 missile system and doing all these things, which makes our position in Iraq more difficult. So you're pointing out a regional problem that starts spreading. And uh, that is a very Im uh, imminent danger if we're not careful. General Tom McInerney, General, good insight. Thank you. Thanks, Trace. Well, moderate Muslims, they're an often overlooked group in...